Improving efficiency at the doctor's office with a health care reform bill. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers joining you on location at the state capitol. Joining me now is Senator Tanya Schutmaker, a Republican from the 20th District. Thank you so much for joining Great us. Great to be here today. And you have brought with you a rather large stack of uh, papers, one of each of all of the different types of pre-authorization forms that are floating around out there today. That's right. Um, every insurance company has their own form when uh, uh, let's say you need a pre prior authorization from your insurance company for a medication. So uh, this is really causing uh, time and frustration in a doctor's office because uh, the doctor has to fill out these prior authorization forms and, and really they're just about a page long each and they all pretty much say the same thing. And so they're having to uh, go fill out one of these and so we're just combining all these forms into one form. And uh, this, this, the state of Michigan is actually coming up with this form, or do you have one insurance company who sort of set the benchmark and has the perfect form? Well, they, they pretty much all say the same thing, but we are having the insurance commission or work with all the different interest groups and pretty much have one standardized form. And so what's the benefit of that? If, uh, if they've been look, seeing these forms for years and years and they all say the same thing anyway, uh, why does it make a difference to make them look well, the same? Well, it makes a sense because in some doctor's office, they need two or three people in order to uh, figure out which form they use and and sometimes they get the wrong form and so if there's one standardized form it's first of all going to save on doctors and nurses times in terms of filling out these forms it's also going to result I think in better patient uh, satisfaction because it, the process will move much quicker rather than you know having to figure out which form it is and so I think overall uh, efficiencies will result of this and that's better for b both doctors and patients and uh, hopefully maybe somewhere down the line uh, a cost saving somewhere that might be passed along exactly. correct? Exactly. Also, uh, increased efficiency also does result in a cost savings. And uh, I would imagine the physicians and uh, the doctor's offices are, are behind this and certainly in support of it. Um, and uh, insurance companies on board as well? Yeah, they, they recognize that every insurance company has uh, pretty much the same information on these forms. And so they really want increased efficiencies as well. Uh, Michigan, Medi Michigan State Medical Society is in favor of it, the doctor's groups. Uh, the drug manufacturers are in favor of it, and I think patients are in favor of it, so it's a win-win. How did this become a passion uh, for you? Obviously a topic that most of us would have no idea was an issue. Well, the best ideas come from doctors and uh, your constituents, and so when they say, you know, we can do this better and have more, much more efficient way of doing things, they brought the issue to me. And uh, so I, I picked it up and said, you're right, when you look at this stack of papers and that it could be one form, I think that is just an overall great policy. It, it, it does seem to just make natural sense that mm -hmm. it would just happen on its own. So why then does it take legislation and, and, and you know politicians in Lansing to, to yeah. do this? Why wouldn't the doctors, the insurance companies just make it the most efficient for themselves well, on that, their own? That's a good question. And, and I think sometimes you need a little nudging in terms of uh, just uh, setting a benchmark that this is what it's going to be. And so where does this uh, stand right now in Lansing? Where is it? Is it uh, in committee? Is it just being it's introduced? It's in committee, going to be uh, voted out very soon and then also then uh, hit the Senate floor and also the House floor. So and then hopefully arrive on the governor's desk. All right. Thank you so much. Thank and you uh, again, much. hold that up. How many stacks of uh, paper are there? pieces? Uh, about over a thousand. Over a thousand. So hopefully it will uh, just be one oh. uh, sometime soon. Thank you again. Thank you. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Senator Tanya Schutmaker, a Republican from the 20th District.